Jack, let me tell you something. Is there something, Olivia? I have a proposal from my company. They wanted me to take a job in Oving Chester. I'm going to be the chief of communications in the branch there. They offered me an excellent pay. So I will relocate to Oving Chester next month. Olivia, what happened to you? What do you say? You have a steady life here at Lovingham. What are you trying to change? And the love among us? Jack, you're such a selfish person. All you want is love. How is my career? Olivia, the egoist is you. You only want to do what you want. Did you ever ask me? You can tell me when it's all decided. Do you ever have any respect for me? I won't talk to you anymore. If you thought of me like that, our three years together should be over. Let's give it a rest. Are you trying to break up? Yes, I do. I will have a brighter new life. You're going to regret this. Episode 1, A New Man in a New City Oving Chester is a busy city, with many entertainment options. It's the place of love and career. The myth is that when somebody comes here, their life revolves around love and work. Is that myth real or not? Miss Olivia, this is your room. If you want anything, call me. Thank you. My accommodation in Oving Chester is a high-class apartment. The firm pays all costs. My firm is large in the media industry, with numerous branches worldwide. It's an honor for me to be part of this company. Pardon me, are you the new neighbor? Hello, my name is Olivia. Hi, I'm David. I live in a room opposite you. Nice to meet you. You don't seem to come from Oving Chester? Yes, that's right. I come from Lovingham. Oving Chester does a lot of nightlife. If so, I'll give you a ride. I think it should for the next time. Okay, I will wait. I didn't like David when I saw him. I don't think he's my type. I don't want to hang out with him either. What do you want to order? You are. I run this restaurant. My name is Brian. You look beautiful to me. Are you new in the city? Yes, that's right. My name is Olivia. Olivia, I think you should order the sunshine set. This set includes a serving of beefsteak, one cup of pumpkin soup, and one glass of orange juice. This is the combined package designed for new arrivals in this city. Your introduction is interesting. Thanks. So I ordered a set of sunshine. Okay, please wait, not be long. What about the food? Delicious. It's been a while since I had a delicious meal. Brian. What's up? Are you free tonight? Yes, I am. I want to hang out with you. See you tonight. 
Okay, see you tonight. Brian is my type. He seems unmarried, doesn't he? We seem to have started the relationship a little early. Let's not complicate the relationship. All right. I don't want this relationship to get complicated either. Olivia, what brought you to this town? For career. I want my career to be a success. Therefore, it is. If so, did you have to sacrifice something of value? I broke up with my boyfriend, just because he didn't want me in here. I see. Brian, after tonight, can we meet again? I'm in the restaurant all the time, why not? Have you had any other kind of relationship? I'm single. Really? Why do I have to lie to you? I have to go. I will come to my branch this morning. Olivia. What? Oh, nothing. You are weird. Hi, I'm Elia, the director at this branch. Hi, I'm Olivia. Nice to meet you. This is your document. There's a list of existing clients within the city. It would help if you looked closely before handing over tasks. I get it. Olivia, I want to take you to lunch today. There's a good restaurant. Thank you. This place is... Do you know this place? I was here yesterday. Really? Hello ladies, may I help you? Elia, why are you here? Let me introduce you. This woman is Olivia, my new colleague. Olivia, this is Brian, my husband. Elia. What? Is Brian Amaya's husband? How come he says he's single? Olivia, what brought you to this town? For career. I want my career to be a success. Brian, after tonight. Can we meet again? I'm in the restaurant all the time. Why not? Hello, ladies. May I help you? Elia, why are you here? Olivia, this is Brian, my husband. Elia. Episode 2, The Unnamed Relationship. Olivia. How are you? Why don't you have some food? We're almost out of lunch. Something you don't like? No, I just ate way too much breakfast this morning. I'm not hungry. Brian's cooking is excellent. He's a great guy. He set up a restaurant worked as a chef, and managed finances. I mean, he's my perfect guy. Elia, you referred to Brian as your husband. But his attitude was not happy, so... We're getting divorced right now. 
It's been almost a year since we parted ways. Do you still want to get back with Brian? Yes, I love him a lot. I never expected a divorce. I'm sorry to ask you such things. I didn't mean to ask. It's okay, Olivia. I believe you and I are pretty compatible. It's like we've known each other for a long time. Finally in this city, I found a true friend. You had no close friends before? Anyone who gets in touch with me has a purpose. My position in this branch is high, so everybody's looking for my support. Don't you think I look the same? You are not. When I first met you, I knew you are a strong person. You don't depend on anyone. It's too late. We should get back to the company. Brian, is there anything? I want to see you at my house tonight. All right, see you later. Brian, what are you trying to see me for? Is there anything you'd like to ask me? If you said so. Brian, why did you lie to me? I didn't lie to you. You have a wife, Elia. We split up, you know. The divorce process is underway. Why don't you tell me? I don't want to be complicated. I'm single, right? I don't live with Elia any longer. As such, I am not deceiving you. Do you intend to get back with Elia? My love for her is done. But Elia said she still loves you. Really? So she said that to you? I have no idea how to deal with Elia. Should I told her, hey, the husband you still love had a one night stand with me. Can I say that? Olivia, it is not complex as you thought. But Elia is my boss, and she thinks I'm her friend. I should go home. Olivia, please stay with me. Why did Brian and Elia split up? Who did it happen to? Is there a reason? But, what is the relationship between me and Brian? An unnamed relationship? Olivia, your media plan for Oswald Media is back. They said you do a good work. They are delighted with your abilities. Really? Yes, they are. They said to use your plan on the following media plan. Oswald is a Ovingchester business with us for a long time. These are some of the close clients we have to maintain. I did some research before I came up with the plan. I like the way you do things. But how do you feel about the environment here? Any problems with your colleagues? I liked the environment here. It's better than Lovingham. All right, that's great. Do the best you can. I expect much of you. Thanks a lot. Olivia. Do you have boyfriend? I'm single. I broke up with my ex before I moved in. In this Ovingchester, 
Did you ever target someone? I got significant connections to this city. If you ever hit a guy, just let me know. Let me help you. Thank you, Elia. What should I do? Do I have to say that the person I care about is her ex-husband? Olivia. David, what's up? This morning a man came looking for you. But you're already gone. Has anyone come for me? Who is it? Olivia. It's him. What? Jack? Why did you come here? Olivia, I'm sorry I broke up with you. I've been thinking about all that. I can't stay alive without you. Let's get back, Olivia. Please, go back to your place. I think we broke up. I don't care about you anymore. I have a new life here in Ovingchester. I don't want to be in Lovingham again. How cold are you? Yes, whatever I've decided. I'm not changing anything. You should find a girl who fits you better than me. I have no love other than you. If you do say it. Jack, what are you doing? If you don't get back, I'll make you regret it. I don't live with Elia any longer. As such, I am not deceiving you. Olivia, it is not complex as you thought. But Elia is my boss. And she thinks I'm her friend. But, what is the relationship between me and Brian? An unnamed relationship? Let's get back, Olivia. You should find a girl who fits you better than me. Jack, what are you doing? If you don't get back, I'll make you regret it. Episode 3, The Valentine Jack, are you doing this? This is no joke. I'll kill myself here if you don't follow me to Lovingham. I'm not kidding. Hey, what are you doing? Step back now. Otherwise, I'll shoot you. Are you crazy? How come you don't respect life like this? David. What am I supposed to do? I'm used to having Olivia by my side. I don't want to live without her. Nobody lives without a person. If you don't have Olivia, you can still live. Is this a fake? Yes, I don't want to die too. You should come home. Don't hold back when your relationship ends. Jack, I'm sorry. But honestly, this is over. I have a perfect life here in Ovingchester. Look for someone better than me. Thank you, David. I don't think you're that brave. If that's a real weapon. I am a psychologist. I know this is a fake gun. Jack could not control his feelings at that time. I should tell him to wake up. Olivia, are you the kind of person who gives up love for your career? My relationship with Jack was troubled. We have more and more different perspectives. My desire to move to Ovingchester was only a drop of water. You won't regret it, will you? Yes, whatever I decide, I shall not regret it. Even though you know later that this is a wrong decision? 
David, it sounds like you're questioning me. I'm not a criminal. Sorry, I'm used to this. I communicate daily with people in need of psychological advice. So when I speak, I want to figure out the other person. Knowing others' behavior like that, do you have a girlfriend? I'm still single. Really? Understanding people doesn't mean I have a long-term relationship. After that event, I felt that David was different from the first impression I encountered. He's more refined, amusing, and friendly. But he's still not my type. Brian and I are still in contact. Our relationship is always this quiet. Perhaps because of me, I still can't tell Elia about my relationship with Brian. Olivia, you have such a well-planned Valentine's Day campaign. The Ostra client called for praise. They said that campaign doubled their sales. Really? I don't think the campaign works well. You also understand the client's behavior fully. Thank you. Valentine is coming. Is there a plan? I'll spend Valentine's Day by myself. Nothing special. You should find somebody to hook up with. You need to open your heart. I will consider your advice. So how about you? It could be the same way with you. But deep down, I want to have time with Brian. I see. Olivia, today is Valentine's Day. Meet me at my place tonight. I know. It's to be expected. Love you. Here's a new recipe for beefsteak. This dish tastes different from the sunshine set. I put unsalted butter and garlic oil on it. You can try it on. It's so delicious. You should add it to the menu. I need time to check out the recipes. So I run tests for you? Maybe. Ha ha. Olivia, let's celebrate Valentine's Day. It's my first Valentine's in Ovingchester. I expect to celebrate Valentine's Day together next year. Of course, I'm still here. Hello, Olivia listens. Elia? Olivia, I'm lonely. Can you join me at the pub? Didn't you say you were in your house today? Yes, I am. Hold on. I'm coming right now. Brian, I'm sorry. I have to see Elia. Olivia, why? I'm not letting Elia know about our relationship. I told her I celebrate Valentine's Day alone. I'll get back to you. Elia. Alvia, Brian has a new girlfriend. What do you say? How do you know? I was in front of Brian's house. He was at home. I heard the voice of a woman. Today is Valentine's. I think he's got a new girlfriend. 
What should I do? Olivia, I love Brian very much. How do I tell Elia that woman is me? I'm sorry, Elia. Jack, I'm sorry. But honestly, this is over. I have a perfect life here in Ovingchester. Olivia, are you the kind of person who gives up love for your career? Olivia, let's celebrate Valentine's Day. It's my first Valentine's in Ovingchester. I was in front of Brian's house. He was at home. I heard the voice of a woman. Today is Valentine's. I think he's got a new girlfriend. What should I do, Olivia? I love Brian very much. Episode 4, The Past of Elia Elia, how do you still love Brian? There are a lot of better men out there. You keep somebody who doesn't love you anymore. Is it worth it? Olivia, you'll never get me. I consider Brian to be the love of my life for many reasons. I grew up in an unhappy family. My father is an alcoholic. When he was drunk, he abused my mom and me. I was beaten a lot at an early age. When I entered high school, my father still hit me. One day, my mom protected me from my father. She had a heart attack and died. My father went to jail. Since then, I lived alone and accessed social assistance to support myself. In college, I started looking for part-time work to support myself. I was determined to study hard for suitable employment. At that time, I didn't love anyone. I didn't want to meet someone as violent as my father. Once I graduated and went to work, I met Brian. We met in this bar five years ago. Brian was a polite man with respect for women. He gave me a warm feeling I hadn't had in a long time. We dated a year before we thought about the wedding. At the beginning of my marriage, I was delighted. It was the best time of my life. Why did your marriage with Brian fall apart? After two years of marriage, Brian and I had differing opinions. I lacked family love, so I wanted to have children. I could balance work and family. So I was prepared to sacrifice my career to become a mom. But Brian didn't think so. He loved to be free in our marriage. He didn't like children. He did not want to have children. We had a lot of arguments about that. Then Brian came up with a divorce application a year ago. When Brian said that, everyone around me collapsed. A feeling of happiness. Now losing it is difficult to describe. Maybe you think I'm foolish. But really, I have no idea what to do. To society, I'm a strong woman. But in love, I'm the weak one. Olivia, thank you. Why do you thank me? I didn't tell anybody. You're the first person I've ever told the love story with Brian. 
I feel you are the person I can trust in this city. Elia, no matter what happens, you need to think for yourself. I got it. Hey, today is Valentine. Don't you go overnight? David, don't you fall asleep? I cannot sleep. Do you go out with your boyfriend? David, may I ask your opinion? What is going on? That is very common to me. You met Brian when he and Elias split up. You don't destroy the feelings between them. You care too much for Elia. You worry about feeling uncomfortable when you meet her at work. But when I heard Elia's story, I realized she still loved Brian. Can she and Brian return? You should never think like that. It's not your fault. If you give up on this relationship, Brian won't get back with Elia. This is the point. The emotions should not be force. But how can I tell Elia? Should I say I'm going out with her ex-husband? You have to solve your problem by yourself. I can only give a little advice. You need to figure this out. Was my decision to come to Ovingchester correct or false? I kept thinking that when I arrived here, I would have a new life and love. But things are a lot more complicated than I expected. It depends on the way you see the issue. If you think it's complicated, it becomes complicated. Do not worry, there's always a solution. The important thing is the way you choose to deal with it. Thank you. I got it. If you need anything, let me know. I know. Olivia, why don't you answer the phone? I can't figure it out, why are you so concerned for Elia? How come it's so hard for us to hang out? I'm sorry, Brian. I can't answer your phone right now, I need a moment to think of the relationship. Elia, please listen to me. Please don't find me, I do not want to see you. Is it Elia? Who is that man? Brian was a polite man with respect for women. He gave me a warm feeling I hadn't had in a long time. He did not want to have children. To society, I'm a strong woman. But in love, I'm the weak one. If you give up on this relationship, Brian won't get back with Elia. But things are a lot more complicated than I expected. Please don't find me. I do not want to see you. Episode 5, Forgivance Elia, I'm sorry. I know the mistakes I make for you can't easily be forgotten. But I truly want to meet you, I hope you'll excuse me. You don't deserve to be my father. You beat my mom and me over and over again. My mother died to keep me safe, you should be in jail forever. Please, I have a good life. I don't want to be ruined by you. 
Elia. If you find me again, I will call the police. Elia. Olivia, did you see everything? Is he your father? Yes, he was just released from jail. He wanted me to forgive him for his past mistakes to my mom and me. You decide not to forgive him? That's right. Why should I forgive him? My mother passed away because of him. My whole life is ruined. I'll remember those days forever. I can't forgive the people who hurt me. Even me? Olivia, what's your point? If I ever did something to you, what would you do? I do not know. Why should you? You will never hurt me. Do you trust me? I knew you were a good person from day one. My intuition is always correct. Have you had dinner yet? Go to eat with me. Elia, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say about my relationship with Brian. From what you said, Elia's spirit is not too good. She fears loneliness. She had a tough pass. So when Brian came in, he was the light that cured Elia's wounds. She can't leave Brian. If so, what will Elia do when she is in shock? For people who have emotional pain, when they encounter painful things unexpectedly, they will make things hard to imagine. You should recommend that Elia consult a psychologist. If you do not mind, this is my psychology clinic address. Thank you, David. But Elia won't do it. She'll be strong and say it's all right. How long will you keep it a secret between you and Brian? I do not know. I just can't let Elia know yet. If she find out, something awful may happen. Olivia, do you want to keep this relationship going with Brian? I will. As I said, this is not your fault. If you trust this guy, then don't give up. I got it. David, I didn't ask you. Did you ever love anybody? Yes, I did. I loved someone in the past. Why did you break up? When the time comes, I'll tell you. I see. Is it you again? I don't want to see you anymore. Elia, please, please, I beg your pardon. I apologize for what I did. I'm out of relatives. I took the consequences of what I did. You better stay in jail longer. Why are you haunting me like this? You killed my mom. If you didn't punch me that day, my mom wouldn't protect me and die from a heart attack. Why did you do that? If you don't go, I'll call the police. Elia. What's with the sound? There was an accident. What? Why is that? Elia, what's going on? You called me all of a sudden and said you were here. 
Olivia. My father was in an accident, and he's being treated here. How come your father got in an accident? I met him on the road. He still wanted to talk to me. He asked me to forgive him. But I didn't want to. He then crossed the road and was struck by a vehicle. I called an ambulance to take him to the hospital. Olivia, did my father want to take his own life? Because I didn't forgive him? Elia, you should calm down. Things are different than you think. When I saw him, I was reminded of the past. My mom and I got abused by him, but when I saw him in an accident, I felt pity again. This is normal, Elia. Because the connection between you and him is a relation. In any case, you cannot deny that. But that's who killed my mom. I won't forgive him. I know that you went through a lot of pain. However, hate will never heal your pain. Doctor. Are you the patient's daughter? Yes, it's me. He was bleeding a lot and in terrible health. You should give blood to him. Are you blood type O? Yes, I'm blood type O. But... What's happened? You have to go with us now. There's no more time. I don't want to give him any blood. What? He wanted me to forgive him for his past mistakes to my mom and me. I can't forgive the people who hurt me. I don't know what to say about my relationship with Brian. So when Brian came in, he was the light that cured Elias' wounds. If you trust this guy, then don't give up. He then crossed the road and was struck by a vehicle. I don't want to give him any blood. What? Elia. Olivia, I can't forgive my father. Within my heart only hate for him, I cannot save his life. Episode 6, The Happiness Elia, you shouldn't do that. Brian, why are you here? I'm the one who called Brian. Brian should know about it. I'm sorry, Elia. Don't blame Olivia. She cares for you, too. I know you've been through unpleasant things in the past. But your father's now in bad condition. He needs the help of you. You might consider him a stranger. But saving a life is important. Did you finish speaking? What is your decision? I will donate blood for my father. All right, follow us. We need to check your blood. Don't worry, we'll do everything we can. Elia. Did you wake up already? If you wake up, I'll leave. Elia, why? Do you wonder why I saved you? Because I cannot stand by and watch you die without saving. Don't get the wrong idea. I see you no more than a stranger. I cannot forgive the person who hurt me. Elia, I'm sorry. There's nothing to apologize for. The jail time is enough for you to take the consequences. 
I don't think I can forgive. I can't act like that. So I chose to give up. All the best to you in the future. Don't worry about the hospital bills. I'll pay for everything. Will we meet again? Maybe someday, when my pain will ease, and I get real happiness. My apologies for being so stubborn. Elia, I'll wait. I'll be waiting for your forgiveness. Brian, you should stay with Elia. She needs your support. I will go home. Olivia, why? What is your point? Why do you want me and Elia back together? You kept avoiding me for days. In the end, do you love me? I can tell Elia needs you. But the one I love right now is you, not Elia. Olivia, you don't respect me. Why don't we let her know we're in love? Elia has a life to herself. Your love cannot be denied. You should be honest with yourself. You are not me. You don't understand. Elia believes I'm a good friend in this city. The one who brings her happiness is only you. But I fell out of love with her. How many times do I have to tell you to make sense? It's late. I have to go. You should stay with Elia. Olivia, wait! Why should we live for other people? Why can't you live for your happiness? Olivia, after work today, do you have time? I am free. What's up? Let me have dinner with you. Okay. I'll catch up with you after work. Okay. Olivia, is there something you don't want me to know? What do you say? I do not understand. I've always looked at you as a close friend and colleague. Don't hold anything back from me. I have nothing to hide from you. Really? Aren't you and Brian dating? Elia, why do you know? I heard every word you said to Brian that day in the hospital. It turns out that you were always hiding your feelings for Brian for a long time. Because of me, that's my fault, right? You misunderstood. You have no fault. This is my fault. I don't know what to say. When I found out you still had feelings for Brian, I felt worse about it. You feel sorry for me, right? Will you give me Brian? I don't mean to pity you. I see you still love him. I want you to be together again. Olivia, I appreciate you doing this for me. But I don't want to. You don't have to pity me. Am I a wretch? I can't get away from him yet. I accidentally became the one that stood in the way of my friend's love. Keep dating Brian. Only you can bring him happiness. Me and him are over. I'm sorry. I should leave. Elia, wait! Why have things gone this way? Did I make a mistake coming to Ovinchester? 
Why do I get caught up in something so complicated? Elia, I'm sorry. I wish I had told you earlier. There's nothing to apologize for. The jail time is enough for you to take the consequences. You kept avoiding me for days. In the end, do you love me? It turns out that you were always hiding your feelings for Brian for a long time, because of me. Olivia, I appreciate you doing this for me, but I don't want to. You don't have to pity me. Elia, I'm sorry. I wish I had told you earlier. Episode 7, Elia's Decision Olivia, why are you so sad? Did something happen to you? David, I don't know how to handle this. What's up? Let me know what happened. You knew that someday would come. If Elliot already knew, it wouldn't bother you anymore. You can go out with Brian in the open. Would this be a positive thing? Olivia! Your personality will make you lose your love and friendship. You care too much about everyone else. However, you should capture your happiness, or you'll lose it all. David. What should be said? I already said. The rest lies in your hands. You'll make a good decision for yourself. Rose, is Elia still off today? She phoned me and said she was sick. Do you need to find her? I have to talk to Elia about multiple contracts. She took two days off. It's also strange. Elia rarely takes time off. Maybe this time, she was seriously sick. Elia? Brian. Can you talk to me? I already know the relationship between you and Olivia. In the hospital that day, I heard the whole thing. So what do you think? Olivia is a good girl. She's always thinking about each other. She wouldn't tell anyone about her relationship with you because of me. Have you met Olivia? Yes, I said everything to Olivia. She even intends to step aside so that we can return. Is that her point? Why is she thinking this way? Brian, are we done with this? Elia, stop sticking around. Our position is too different. I want a free life with no kids. As long as you enjoy a family with kids. Why can't you open your heart? You may find that having children is no longer a big deal. I tried but couldn't. I'm sorry. The person I have feelings for at the moment is Olivia. I got it. All the best to you and Olivia. Be nice to her. Are you okay? You're cruel. You hurt me. Now you're asking me if I'm alright? It was a mistake to love you. Elia, wait!
Thank you. Your deal is excellent. I am happy. Thank you very much, Betty. I appreciate you choosing our company. Excuse me, but I see you're in trouble. This is just my personal affair. Could you tell me? What makes you so curious? I think I can help you. After listening to your story, I remember my love story from that time. What happened to you? Before, I foolishly fell in love with an unworthy person. I left my family for him. But later I know his true self. You know, I went to jail for three years for murder. What? Is this real? Yes, this is. In my defense, I killed my husband. My family didn't let me down. They helped me find a good lawyer and waited until I released from jail. After I got out of jail, I went to my dad's business to work. My focus has been on my career. I didn't love anybody since. Are you ready to fall in love again? Yeah, of course, I am. Love is beautiful when one encounters the right person. Olivia, you'll get the love you deserve. What do you mean? Then you'll find out. Don't fall into wrong love like me. I have to go. Goodbye. Thank you for listening to me. Betty is a great woman. I had no idea she'd have such a painful and tragic love affair. Is Elia off again today? Yes, Elia called to let me know. She is still sick. She's got no one to look out for her. Elia. Do you want to avoid me, or did something happen? I should come and see you, otherwise, I'm scared something wrong will happen. Rose, can you tell me where Elia is? I know, do you want to visit her? That's right. I sent you the address. Thanks. Elia, Elia. Do you find this person? She stayed in her house for three days. What? Security, can you break the door to get in? There's a spare key. Elia, how are you? It looks like she's on some suicide pill. Please call an ambulance. Olivia, your personality will make you lose your love and friendship. You care too much about everyone else. Why can't you open your heart? You may find that having children is no longer a big deal. Olivia, you'll get the love you deserve. Then you'll find out. Don't fall into wrong love like me. Elia, how are you? It looks like she's on some suicide pill. Elia, why are you doing this? Episode 8, Continue or Give Up Doctor, how goes Elia? She took many drugs to kill herself. Now she has serious poisoning, we'll clear it out. Are you her family member? I am her colleague. Does she have any relatives? No, she doesn't. She's on her own. You go down to the front desk to do the procedure for her. 
I know. Olivia, how's Elia? The doctor is doing a bowel movement on her. How come it's like that? Is it because of that day? Brian, did you meet Elia? That's right. A few days ago, she came to see me. She wants to come back to me, but I said no. I told her the love affair with her was over. I don't think Elia would go down that track. She's a strong person. If she's strong, she can easily forget about you. The bigger you are, the weaker you become. You should stay at the hospital and wait till Elia wakes up. Olivia! I'm sorry. I am not strong enough to see Elia suffer, and I live a happy life. Elia needs you. If anything happens to Elia, you'll regret it forever. Olivia, what's up? David, am I useless? I can't continue with Brian. Elia needs him. But when I said goodbye, I couldn't put up with it. What should I do? Olivia, we all have to make painful decisions in life. The important thing is to know if you can get through or not. How weak am I? You are a very strong woman. You always live for other people, even when you renounce your love. The pain will go away. Thank you, David. You always listened to what I was saying. What makes you so patient? Are we just neighbors? I'm a psychiatrist, that's why. If I go away, I'm the bad guy. Besides... What's up? Nothing. You should take it easy. Hello. I'm listening. I'm getting out of the house where we lived. While cleaning. I see you have some items left. Really? I'll see you in the morning. You don't work anymore? I should take some time off. Okay, see you soon. It may be time I need to leave Ovingchester for one day. If I stay here, I'm going down. Olivia! Can we come back? We broke up five months ago. In all honesty, I still love you. If you want, you can still go to Oving Chester. I'm going along with you. Jack, too late for that? Why didn't you have my back when I decided to go to Oving Chester? Our opinions are so far apart. I told you to find the right woman for you, then you'll feel happy. Olivia, you changed a little. What do I change? You used to be stubborn. All you care about is yourself. But now you can think about other people. Even if I change, we can't return to how we were. Well, it's too late, isn't it? Jack, you will be happy. I believe so. Don't lose any better women. Goodbye. Olivia! You must be happy, too! Thank you. This time in Lovingham, I came up with an idea. 
Or do I give up all these last five months in Oving Chester? I can go back to Jack. But I know that will not be possible. I've decided to go to Oving Chester, and I'll stick to my choice. I still don't understand why Betty said I would meet the right person. Is Brian not my true love? Miss Elia, you're awake. Doctor, why am I here? Brian? Olivia got you into the hospital. You are fortunate to be still alive. It's Olivia again. Why am I so indebted to her? Miss Elia, there's some news. You're about five months pregnant. What? How come it's like this? I don't know about that. Some pregnant persons will have no symptoms. Because you took a lot of suicide drugs, it can hurt your baby. Luckily for you, the baby's all right. Doctor, what do you say? Did Elia get pregnant? That's right. Elia, was that the day? That was five months ago when you moved out of the house. We got that last one. Brian, is this for real? Olivia, how long have you been here? Olivia, wait! Brian and Elia will become parents. I'll probably lose a chance with Brian. David? I'm sorry. I am not strong enough to see Elia suffer, and I live a happy life. You are a very strong woman. You always live for other people, even when you renounce your love. I told you to find the right woman for you. Then you'll feel happy. Miss Elia, there's some news. You're about five months pregnant. Brian, is this for real? Olivia, how long have you been here? Brian and Elia will become parents. I'll probably lose a chance with Brian. David? Episode 9, Olivia's Aunt David, thank you. It's nothing. I accidentally purchased something near here. I see you crying when it rains. Things between me and Brian are more complicated. Olivia, what's on your mind? Are you going to continue with Brian? My mind is on edge. I can't believe Elia is pregnant. I know I didn't mean to, but Brian probably still cares about her. Olivia, I wanted to give you a piece of advice. It would help if you lived happily. This is your life. If love hurts you, please consider. Besides, I... What are you trying to tell me? Nothing. There's nothing to worry about. Olivia. Aunt Robin, what brought you here? I come to visit you. Is this your boyfriend? Robin, don't get me wrong. This is David. He's in the room opposite mine. Hello, David. Nice to meet you. Hello, Robin. Nice to meet you. Olivia is a good girl. If you get a chance, go out with my niece. Robin, don't say pointless things. David, see you. See you. Is this your apartment? It looks like a roomy place. However, there is just one bedroom. What? Why do you only rent one bedroom? Because I live alone. 
Robin, tell me, why did you come to this place? Do you still fight with your husband? Why do you know? When I was at Lovingham, you came to my place several times. You slept a couple of nights till Paul called you. This time, I believe the same thing. I don't know if I should divorce Paul. Whenever we quarrel, I get tired. The problem comes from you, don't you? Olivia, you should be standing up for me, not questioning me. Are you jealous of Paul again? Paul is the salesman. He interacts with many customers. You should feel for him. I know, but this isn't easy to do. No more talking to me. David is your boyfriend, right? Robin, try not to speculate. We are just friends. The person I hung out with here was Brian, but... What's up? I just dropped it. That's all. I can't go through with him. Don't talk about it. You should sleep at my room. I will sleep in the living room. Tomorrow, I will take you on a tour of Oving Chester. Oving Chester is great. I'm wondering if I should move and live here. Robin, did you hear about the urban legend? You will be swept up in work and love when you come to this city. Do you think this urban legend is true? It probably worked for me. Olivia, please tell me about what happened to you during these months. Let me give you some advice. It turns out you and this guy called Brian were in love. But Brian's ex-wife, Elia, still cares about him. In the end, she got pregnant with Brian. Do you give up that easily? What am I supposed to do? I think Elia needs Brian right now. Elia is not as strong as me. She took her own life. If I didn't come to Elia's apartment, I'm afraid she's dead. Love is not giving in. Even if Elia has kids, you and Brian can stay in this relationship. The problem isn't with Elia, it's with Brian. What do you say? From what you say, Brian is not the definitive man. He doesn't love you very much. Robin, please don't speculate. You should take care of things between you and Paul. Hello, Olivia here. I got it. I'll meet you at the company right away. I should get back to work. Can you go to my apartment by yourself? I'm going by tram. There's nothing to worry about. See you. This is Brian's restaurant. I should see him. Excuse me, are you Brian? Who owns the restaurant? That's right, and you are. I'm Robin, Olivia's aunt. I just arrived in this city. I want to see you. Are you Olivia's aunt? Yes, I am. I visit her for a few days. I heard Olivia say a few things about you. That's why I was looking for you. Please make a final decision about your relationship with Elia. I know Elia is your ex-wife. She is pregnant, but Olivia is your actual girlfriend. I know, but I still can't make up my mind. I can't leave Elia alone. 
especially the last time she killed herself. What about Olivia? Do you want to keep this relationship going? I don't know. I am very uncertain. This is your life. If love hurts you, please consider. Aunt Robin, what brought you here? Why did you come to this place? Olivia, please tell me about what happened to you during these months. Brian is not the definitive man. Please make a final decision about your relationship with Elia. I can't leave Elia alone. What about Olivia? Do you want to keep this relationship going? I am very uncertain. Episode 10, The Pain of Olivia I warn you. If you hurt Olivia, I won't forgive you. Olivia is my niece. I'll never let her be sad. I'm Robin. I will protect my niece. Mrs. Robin, I think you misunderstood me. Misunderstood? I see you as someone indecisive in love. You are a selfish person in love. Olivia should find someone better than you. Goodbye. Mrs. Robin, wait! Hello, Brian? Olivia, why did you tell your aunt about our relationship? What do you say? She came to my restaurant. She accused me by telling me to break up with you. Brian, is there anything wrong with Robin saying? Olivia, you! I'm sick of you. What happens when Elia gets pregnant? I believe we can continue our relationship. Sorry, Olivia. I hate complicated things. I can't just walk away from Elia. She needs me. If she had no children, things would be better. Brian, you are a pride man. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You want people from the outside to look at you and respect you. You always carry the burden of responsibility. I know we've been going out for five months. But you still got the shadow of Elliot inside you. The marital perspective of children is the reason you and Elia are at loggerheads. Now Elia has a baby, you two should continue your relationship. Olivia! I'm sorry Robin gave you a hard time. Olivia! Hang on! Robin, did you meet Brian? Did Brian call you? Did he tell you something? That's right. He called me. He claimed that you yelled at him. You shouldn't do that. Robin, Brian and I are finished. I decide to withdraw from that relationship. I feel sorry for your relationship. That's why I want to help you. The more you help me, the more Brian will hate me. Do you understand? Olivia, your personality is too honest. You just give in to others. When will you be happy? I'm not like you. I don't want to see Elia suffer. That is a lie. You always want to have Brian in your heart. You want to steal him from Elia. You can't admit it. There's no need for me to argue with you. I have to sleep. 
Olivia. I won't let you get hurt. You have already suffered so much in love. I still remember these things. During her college years, Olivia's parents placed her in my care. Olivia stayed at my house. Once, Olivia came back with a happy face. I think she had love. I asked, but I didn't get a response from Olivia. I was curious about who the person was. One day, before Olivia went to school. Are you Olivia? Yes, I am. Are you dating Rocky? Yes, I am. You are. I warn you. You can't go on a date with Rocky. I know everything about you. Who are you? Rocky has a wife and a young son. I'm Rocky's wife. What did you say? You are the one who seduces my husband. When I found your photo on his phone, my husband said everything to me. Why do you attempt to seduce a married man? You are the third will person. I don't know about his marriage. Rocky didn't tell me. Why are things like this? I have to slap you. Please stop. Aunt Robin. Please keep your husband. He lied to my niece first. Olivia never knew he was married. Do you protect your niece? That's right. My niece is just a victim. If you don't leave, I'll call the police. Olivia, avoid my husband. If not, I won't forgive you. Since that day, Olivia had symptoms of depression. She stopped dating anyone anymore. Until she graduated, she went to Lovingham and met Jack. But their relationship did not last long when Olivia decided to come to Ovingchester. Why are you telling me, this is Robin? Because I trust you, David. You are a good guy. I believe that you will treat Olivia well. Mrs. Robin, I understand what you're trying to do, but I don't have any chance. Don't worry, Olivia will find out who's good for her. Brian. You asked me out for what? Olivia, I've been thinking a lot. We should go to Francie together. What did you say? In Francie, no one can know us. We will have a fresh start in life. Brian, you are a selfish person. Olivia. If you hurt Olivia, I won't forgive you. I can't just walk away from Elia. You always carry the burden of responsibility. Olivia, your personality is too honest. I know everything about you. Why do you attempt to seduce a married man? I don't know about his marriage. I believe that you will treat Olivia well. We should go to Francie together. We will have a fresh start in life. You are a selfish person. Olivia. Who are you? Why did you yell my son? Episode 11, Brian's Mother Mom, why are you here? Brian, who is this woman? She is Olivia, my friend. Hey, I warn you. 
My Brian is the young master of a wealthy family. You can't yell him. Sorry, Mrs. I was too hasty. Come on, call me Jessica. Mrs. Jessica, I need to leave. Please remember what I said, Brian, we are done. Hey, wait. Brian, this is unethical. How come she leave like that? Mom, answer me. Why are you here? Let's go to your restaurant and have a conversation. Brian, who is that woman? Why does she say that it's over between you and her? She is Olivia, my current girlfriend. But she chose to break up with me. She is not the ideal person for you. She has no respect for me. Brian, when will you go home? I let you out too long. Mom, I don't take over the family business. I want to be free to do what I like. You opened this restaurant, then how is the revenue? Is that equal to a year's income from our business? Brian, you're the son of the famous Mandever family. You're the only child in the family. It is necessary to inherit this family. This is your responsibility. Mom, I still don't want to go back. I have kid. I need to care for my baby. What do you say? That Olivia has your baby? No, it's Elia. Didn't you divorce her already? She had a baby with me before she left the house. Brian, I don't get you at all. Why are you allowing things to become so complicated? I'll stay in Ovingchester for a while. Mom, why? What about the company's business? I plan to run the company remotely. Don't worry, I must put an end to all your troubles. Mom, you shouldn't do this. I should do it. This is for the future of the Mandever family. So you've decided. Will you be done with Brian? That's right. I shouldn't run into complicated love. Brian's obsession with Elia has always been ongoing. Brian would still come back to her one day even if Elia weren't pregnant. Moreover, I fell in love with him too quickly. We met when I first came to Ovingchester. We started this relationship after this. Olivia, do you still love Brian so much? Why are you asking this question? The way I see it, you still love Brian. The first person you met when you arrived in Ovingchester was me. Brian was the person you picked that same day. I never had a chance myself. David, you mean? Yes, I have feelings for you. As far as I know. I am not your choice. I didn't say a word. I became the one who shares your thoughts. Honestly, I don't think you have a crush on me. No need to be embarrassed. It's my choice. To me, happiness is when I see that you are happy. That is enough. David. Elia. Olivia, why did you come here? You haven't come back to work over a week. I'm worried about you. I want to visit you. 
The doctor told me I still couldn't get out of the hospital. Olivia, can we go back to our previous state when I go to work? You have always been my best friend here in Elvingchester. I talked to Brian. He is not a part of my life anymore. Brian too. He can't get away from you because you're pregnant. Olivia, please don't make fun of me. I know you hate me inside of you. I am the one who is stopping the relationship between you and Brian. You lost, Olivia. You and Brian cannot have a lifetime together. I am the winner. I have Brian's child. Elia, I don't mean to argue with you. I wish you happiness all the time. Don't talk the lied words. Why aren't you showing your real feelings? Shut up. You're not allowed to talk this way to my niece. Aunt Robin? Who are you? Aunt Robin! Why did you slap me? You are a devil woman. You only care about your feelings, right? My Brian is the young master of a wealthy family. You can't yell him. Why are you allowing things to become so complicated? I must put an end to all your troubles. Brian was the person you picked that same day. I never had a chance myself. To me, happiness is when I see that you are happy. You lost, Olivia. I am the winner. I have Brian's child. Why did you slap me? You are a devil woman. You only care about your feelings, right? Episode 12, Meeting a New Client Aunt Robin, you can't do that. This implies that you are hitting her. Olivia, you can't defend her. She lacks respect for you. She also speaks defiantly. You misunderstood. Elia didn't intend that. She is still angry about what happened between me and Brian. Olivia, it's time you woke up. Elia is not a good person. She will not give up on Brian. You are the one who will be hurt if you continue like this. Mrs. Robin, isn't it? I'll call the police if you're still here. Please leave this room now. You too, Olivia. Don't let me see you. Leave this room with your aunt. Elia, I'm sorry. Robin, it's time for you to return to your house. You've been away from home for a week. Paul must be worried about you. He would have called if he was concerned about me. By the way, he didn't phone me. But I don't need you here. Don't you feel like you're bothering me? Olivia, I am here to assist you. I want you to be truly happiness. I won't leave until you're happy. I don't require your assistance at all. I can solve my problem. I don't want to be with you. Olivia, do you have a strong hatred for me? I just want to help you. Olivia, Elia called me. She said to give you the contracts she had in charge. You should follow those cases. Really? I got it. 
You need to see this client this afternoon. I know. This client is Lily Calamar. Hello, I'm Olivia. I will be responsible for media planning for your alias brand. Nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Lily. Nice to meet you. Olivia, you are so professional. I have collaborated with other companies. However, I am impressed with you. I appreciate your compliment. I try and do my best. There is still plenty of time left. Can I talk with you for a moment? This is my honor, Mrs. Lily. Olivia, do you have a boyfriend? I had a relationship, but it ended. Why is that? I don't think I should tell you this story. This is a shameful situation. I can give you some advice. I won't tell anyone, so don't worry. I believe you didn't cause any harm to Elia. Competing with her is still a fair game. I think Brian still has feelings for Elia. In the end, will we be happy if I fight until the end? I was also fierce in love. Then I made mistakes. I went to jail for three years to pay for my mistakes. Mrs. Lily, why? I don't have a good relationship with my husband's stepdaughter. To protect my love. I attempted to harm her. However, after all, I found myself too selfish and wrong. Love is a combination of two sides, me and my boyfriend. So it's my fault, and it's his fault as well. Later, his daughter also realized her mistake. When I got out of prison, he was still waiting for me. We had a wedding ceremony and lived happily. Olivia, there's somebody better waiting for you. You mean, David, but I... It's a good idea to give yourself a chance at times. Brian is your taste, but he is indecisive in love. David is the person who shares your troubles. Sorry, I have a call. Hello, Daniel. I have completed alias contract. Do Anna and Harley want us to go out for dinner tonight? I'll be going home right now. I have to go. See you later. Mrs. Lily, thank you. I hope you find happiness, Olivia. You will make your decision. Mrs. Lily, like Betty, are strong women. I admire them. In love, they made a mistake. But in the end, they all got through it. Betty focuses all her attention on her career. Mrs. Lily has a happy family. Happiness has its challenges. Right? I apologize for raising my voice at you, Aunt Robin. Olivia, it's not your fault. I've interfered too much with your business. I should return to my home. Do not say that. I'm fine. I understand your point. You can remain here until the matter is resolved between you and Paul. Olivia, thank you. Who is that? Are you? Hello, Elia.
She lacks respect for you. She also speaks defiantly. Elia is not a good person. She will not give up on Brian. I won't leave until you're happy. In the end, will we be happy if I fight until the end? I was also fierce in love. Then I made mistakes. I went to jail for three years to pay for my mistakes. Olivia, there's somebody better waiting for you. It's a good idea to give yourself a chance at times. I'm fine. I understand your point. Who is that? Are you? Hello, Elia. Episode 13, The Condition of Brian's Mother Mrs. Jessica, why did you come here? It would be great if you could invite me in. What's up? Do you not want to do it? Nothing. Please come to my house. Did you purchase this apartment? Yes. I worked for three years for it. It's true that you're a girl with a will. You don't have to compliment me. I want to know what your purpose is here. Elia, we didn't get along from the first time we met. I was against Brian getting married to you, but he still did it. In the end, both of you and him get divorced. Do you know why? My opinion and Brian's are different. He likes freedom. My dream is to have children. Completely wrong. The most significant difference is between rich and poor. Brian is the young master of the Mandever family. He must choose the right person for him. And what about you? You are a poor girl. I don't care how hard you try. You can't equal Brian. So your marriage with Brian was a mistake all along. This is even worse when you have Brian's baby. Mrs. Jessica, what do you want? I want you to give the baby to the Mandever family. We will raise the baby. Why? This is not something you are authorized to do. Raising a baby is not something you deserve. The baby has Brian's blood. I disagree. Brian made a promise to take care of our baby with me. He will keep his promise. Words are like the wind. Do you ever understand, Brian? A promise isn't a promise. He can promise it all, but in fact, he won't dare to do what he said. I'm Brian's mother. I understand my child. That's also the reason why I'm here. Brian is no longer allowed to hang out his own. I'll give you one million dollars. That money will help you turn your life around. In return, you must give me your child. I... I understand that you require time to think. I'll give you a week. You will immediately have one million dollars if you agree. Money can bring you happiness. It's up to you to raise the baby. But whatever happens to the baby, we won't help you anything. Why can't you sympathize? Why do you hate me all the time? I do everything because of the honor of the Mandever family. Brian has a great deal of responsibility. He is unable to live according to his desires. How can I face this? I will meet Brian. He will have a clear idea of what to do. 
Elia, why are you meeting me? Brian, your mother came looking for me. I know. She said that after I give birth, I have to give the baby to the Mandaver family. I will receive one million dollars in return. I know. Do you know everything? My mom told me before she came to see you. Why didn't you let me know? I can't go against my mom. When she makes a decision, no one can oppose it. What do you say? If she desires the baby, giving it to her is best. One million dollars for a normal person is a lot. This should help you. You are the baby's father. What are you up to? I won't see you again. My mom said that. What if I don't give the baby? You have to face any trouble and we won't help you. Brian, why? What makes you such a person? Alia, it's your fault for all the trouble. Why do you have a baby? I can have a happily ever after with Olivia. I don't want to be tied up with kids. We're already divorced. Why did it happen? Brian, I'm very disappointed in you. You are a coward. Elia. Olivia, are you going to the market today? David, did you finish your job? That's right. I have to buy things, so I go to the supermarket. David, please wait for me. Sorry. I'm David's colleague, and you are. Why are you following me, Nancy? I want to go with you, David. She is. This is Olivia, my neighbor. Olivia, this is my colleague Nancy. Hello. Hello. I have to go. See you. Okay. See you. David, please buy me this. Also, this one. Nancy, are you willing to buy that much? Seeing David and his colleague made me feel a bit uncomfortable. Is David dating her? Was it because I turned him down? Did he seek out a new opportunity for himself? But why do I get so upset? It's a good idea to give yourself a chance at times. Mrs. Lily was right. Is it too late for me? I want to know what your purpose is here. In the end, both of you and him get divorced. The most significant difference is between rich and poor. I want you to give the baby to the Mandaver family. I'll give you one million dollars. Alia, it's your fault for all the trouble. Why do you have a baby? This is Olivia, my neighbor. This is my colleague Nancy. Why do I get so upset? Is it too late for me? Episode 14, The Past of David David, are you having lunch? That's right. Can I sit together? No matter what I say, you'll still sit with me. David, you are so cold. How come you're not finding a boyfriend? If you keep following me all the time, you will regret it. You are a psychiatrist. You must be aware of my reasons. Nancy, you confess once that you had a crush on me. I have made it clear to you that I cannot accept your feelings. 
I get it. It was because you were still unable to overcome your dead girlfriend. David, we've worked together for three years. I am your assistant. I hope that you will give me a chance one day. But three years later, you look the same. Nancy, the feeling is not what you desire. Then I couldn't forget about Selena. Selena is my first love. Our love for each other has led us to plan to marry. But an accident happened and took her life. I am depressed. I am unable to open my heart to anyone. Except Olivia? I'm right, aren't I? Why do you know? I had doubts from the moment I met Olivia. You never smiled at me. But with Olivia, you have such a good time. Why Olivia? From the moment Olivia arrived at the apartment, I was amazed. Selena and Olivia share a similarity. I feel the rebirth of Selena. I want to date Olivia, but she didn't pay attention to me. Later, I listen what Olivia told me. When Olivia gets into trouble and love, she tells me. Are you still doing that? Why don't you tell her? I said, but Olivia's feelings are not for me. From the start, I had no chance. So why don't you give me a chance? David, wait! I will not give up. I have no intention of giving up on David. I need to see Olivia. If she cannot bring David happiness, she should make it clear to him. Excuse me, are you Olivia? Are you David's colleague? The other day, we met at the market. That's right. I need to talk to you. I told you what I knew about David. So you know the reason David cares about you. You resemble his deceased ex-girlfriend. Olivia, you got no feelings for David. Why do you want to make him miserable? I think you misunderstood. Me and David are friends. I discussed this directly with David. In addition, I believe this is between David and me. You are not related. What is your motive for interfering? I have feelings for David. I have been in love with him for three years. I hope that he will accept me one day. After three years, he has feelings for you. What is causing everything to be unfair to me? Nancy, if you have feelings for David, it's important to try. Olivia, are you sure you have no feelings for David? I... What is causing you to be hesitant? Do you have feelings for him? I'm sorry, I have to go. The problem cannot be solved by avoiding it. If you have feelings for David, let him know. I don't want David to be that sad. I have no idea how I feel about David. I'm not looking for him to replace Brian. That is not fair to him. Why did I cry last time? Because I thought David and Nancy were dating. But they're not in a relationship. Nancy's love is one-sided. She hopes David will respond. The outcome is different from what she wants. That is Elia, isn't it? She is talking to a woman. That woman is Brian's mother. 
What are they saying? One week is up. I believe you have made a decision. I have made a decision. I will give birth and raise my child. I don't need your one million dollars. Why? Your life will change if you have one million dollars. Do you think this little amount is unfair? I can give you two million dollars. After birth, please give me the baby. Happiness is not a result of money. I can't let anyone have my child. Despite the hardships of life, I will raise my child by myself. You are foolish, Elia. Can you do that? Brian will never come back to you. Whether you have a baby or not, he will leave you. You should shut up. Olivia, why are you here? I warn you. Never use money to despise others. I hope that you will give me a chance one day. But three years later, you look the same. I couldn't forget about Selena. Selena is my first love. But an accident happened and took her life. Selena and Olivia share a similarity. Olivia, are you sure you have no feelings for David? I don't need your one million dollars. You are foolish, Elia. You should shut up. Olivia, why are you here? I warn you, never use money to despise others. Episode 15, The Secret of Brian's Mother. Are you Olivia? We already met once. From the moment I first met you, I didn't like you. You're a cheeky lady. You had no respect for me. Why did you choose to leave while we were talking? I believe that you were the one who lacked respect. You tend to defend Brian too much while looking down on others. I am disgusted by the poverty of those like you. You and Elia are no match for my boy Brian. What about you? Do you believe you are worthy of the Mandever family? What do you say? I do not understand. Miss Jessica, I checked your history. Before you became the mistress of the Mandever family, you were an ordinary secretary. You seduced Mr. Mandaver, who had a family. He later divorced his wife and married you. In other words, you were a third wheel person. What you got came out of your tricks. Did you dare to examine my background? There were articles available on the internet. I'm curious to find and read. In other words, you don't have the right to judge me. Elia, for anyone who wants to date Brian. Unfortunately, Brian has a mother like you. Olivia, how dare you speak to me like that? If you become Mandever's daughter-in-law, what will you do to my family? Your education makes Brian selfish and undecided person. Luckily, I realized it early. I don't want to continue with him. Sorry, I'm not going to keep talking to you. Elia, let's go. Olivia, stop! You shouldn't walk away while I'm talking. Why? She's a scary woman. I can't believe it. 
She is aware of my secret. She made me feel embarrassed. This is the first time someone dared to do that with me. Olivia, why are you aiding me? I don't need your help. I don't want to be owed anything to you. Elia, we are friends. Before, it was the same, and it will be the same now. It's hard for me to watch you get scolded by her. I used to dislike you. I'm a fence between you and Brian. You should have felt hatred towards me. Elia, I never hated you. Your emotions are your own. I understand why you behave that way. If I were you, I would do the same thing. You are pregnant. You have reasonable feelings about trying to keep Brian. I'm sorry that Aunt Robin slapped you last time. She was just worried about me. Olivia, do you know why I hate you? I envy you, that's why. You've just arrived in Ovingchester and met Brian. Many people help you. Despite trying everything by myself, I am always alone. Can you explain why I am still alone? If you open your heart, you'll see how beautiful the world is. Olivia, I have made up my mind. I'm going to give birth and raise the child alone. I do not need help from Brian or his family. I'm so tired of someone like Brian. Elia, you are not alone. I'll give you a hand. Really? Olivia? We are modern ladies. We can still live happily without men. You and Elia are back to normal. It's so good. In my opinion, Elia needs someone to help her during this period. Brian's mother wanted her to give the baby. Brian's badness was revealed to her by this. He's just a mama boy. I'm her friend. I will help her. Olivia, you got nothing to ask me? What do you mean? You saw me with Nancy the other day. Don't you ask about Nancy? Nancy met me. We talked about you. Did she meet you? That's right. She told me what happened to Selena. David, you love me because I look like Selena, right? Olivia, I... If yes, that's not fair to me. I am not willing to be Selena's replacement. In truth, I also slowly fell in love with you. But I think about it all the time. I wonder if I see you as a replacement for Brian. It is the same for you. Do you have feelings for me because I look like your late girlfriend? You should check it. I have to leave. See you. Olivia, wait. You seduced Mr. Mandever, who had a family. In other words, you were a third wheel person. Elia, we are friends. Before, it was the same, and it will be the same now. I'm going to give birth and raise the child alone. I do not need help from Brian or his family. 
David, you love me because I look like Selena, right? Do you have feelings for me because I look like your late girlfriend? Episode 16, Many Faces of Love Olivia, I understand why you struggle with love. Aunt Robin, what do you mean? You are always looking for clarity in everything. The situation you face in this city is unclear. The situation is more complicated than you think. You don't want to be Selena's replacement. David is still determining if he loves you because you look like Selena. Or maybe he loves you for who you are. So, what can I do? You should take it in your way. Love doesn't have to be obvious all the time. If we feel love, that's enough. Aunt Robin, since the Rocky incident, I've been feeling scared. And then Brian. I have doubts about David's feelings. As I said, you should accept David's feelings, not doubt them. The present is not the same as the past. Robin, Olivia. Paul? Why did you come here? Hi, Paul. You come to my house first. I think that you'll have a lot to talk about with Aunt Robin. Paul, you should go back. I have yet to decide to go home. Why? It's been over a month since you left. At first, I thought you were mad at me. So you went to visit Olivia. But you didn't call me either. Why can't we save our marriage now? Paul, it's not your fault. I am responsible for the fault. I am responsible for all the problems in our marriage. I didn't realize it until now. You are too patient with me. I'm sorry. Robin. It's normal to argue. It's common for marriages to be like that. The point is that after the controversy, we can always move on. Paul, stop deceiving yourself. You may be tired of this marriage too. I don't know why. What do you mean? It's been 20 years since we were married. Having children is something you like to do. My goal was to have a life just only us. You agreed to this. 20 years later, I know I made the wrong decision that year. We are old now. We missed the chance to have a baby. I feel sorry for the bad decisions of the past. The more we fought, the more I wanted you to divorce me. But you don't do that. Paul, let's end this marriage. Robin, this is how you have felt for a long time. I have no problem with that. It's just because you think that way. I'm sorry, Paul. Right now, I don't want to talk to you. Please leave this place. Robin. Paul, won't you stay here? Robin didn't want to talk to me. She needs time for this marriage. Paul, I don't understand. Aunt Robin is a very irritating person. Why have you been able to endure her for the past 20 years? Even though she didn't want to have children. There are many faces of love. Some individuals desire perfect love. Some people want simple love. Seeing Robin happy is all I need. You might think it's patience. When I'm with Robin, I never feel sad. 
Even when Aunt Robin gets in a fight with you? Yes, that's right. I understand her personality. Sounds like the spice of the marriage. But Aunt Robin doesn't think so. What happens if she decides to divorce? As I stated earlier, it's okay if Robin is happy. Don't you want to save this marriage? I will do my best. I'll accept it if it doesn't turn out as I want. However, I will be satisfied that I did my best. Goodbye, Olivia. See you. Goodbye, Paul. David, do you feel that Paul is too patient? When we are in love, we consider the other the best. I greatly admire Paul, as he has been with Aunt Robin for 20 years. It's been a long time. We can too, Olivia. David. I cannot give you the perfect answer you desire. Emotions are hard to define. The first time we met, you called me back Selena. But I have feelings for you because you are Olivia. David, I appreciate your honest words. There has been a lot of happening lately, so I need some time to think things over. Do you understand my point, David? I get it. I respect your decision. Thank you, David. Olivia, you broke up with me and now have a new boyfriend? Brian? Why are you here? I have lunch here, accidentally. I saw you and this guy. Tell me, who is he? Why haven't I heard about him before? Brian, we broke up. I don't need to tell you. It turns out that you cheated on me. You used Elias' pregnancy to break up with me. The truth is, you betrayed me. That's not how you talk to Olivia. Olivia, let's go. Wait, I'm not finished talking yet. Love doesn't have to be obvious all the time. If we feel love, that's enough. I am responsible for all the problems in our marriage. Paul, let's end this marriage. There are many faces of love. Seeing Robin happy is all I need. But I have feelings for you because you are Olivia. Tell me, who is he? Brian, we broke up. I don't need to tell you. You used Elias' pregnancy to break up with me. That's not how you talk to Olivia. Olivia, let's go! Episode 17, Brian's Rage Olivia, wait! I need you to clarify everything. Who is he? Why didn't you tell me about him? Why do you want me to tell you about him? David is my neighbor. We are friends. That's right. Olivia and I are just friends. You lie. You are responsible for dividing us. I won't forgive you. Brian, are you crazy? If we're lovers now, it's no concern of yours. It's time to take a look at yourself. You lack a clear opinion on love. You are a selfish person. You are just a mama boy. Elia and I realized the real you. Elia told me that she would raise her children. She doesn't need your help or your family. Even if we continue, your mother will stop us. Your life is under her control. 
My advice to you is to be mature. Get away from your mother's control, so you'll find real happiness. Goodbye, Brian. Olivia. Mom, you made my life like this, didn't you? Brian, why are you so sad? It's nothing, Mom. There's good news for you. Lady Asher wants to see you. She is a rich lady with status and education. She's a perfect match for our Mandever family. It's a good idea to see her. Mom, how long do you want to control my life? Do you enjoy living for me? Brian, what are you saying? I am always taking care of you. I always want your best. Your goal is to achieve the best for yourself. You always have low self-esteem because you are a third-wheel person. Your desire is for me to be the pride of the Mandever family. Brian, you can't tell me that. I don't want to inherit the Mandever family. All I desire is a free life. Olivia is right. I'm your puppet. I won't allow you to control me for the rest of my life. Brian, wait! Olivia, that woman. What did she say to my son? Why did Brian change his attitude towards me like that? I won't forgive her. I must clarify this. The media contract with Mrs. Lily was excellent last time. Olivia. Mrs. Lily is so excited about you. She said she would remain cooperative with our company for a long time. Really? Elia was taking maternity leave. You will carry on with her contracts. The client you need to meet is Mrs. Scarlett. She is a daughter of the Brown family. The Brown family went bankrupt several years ago. Despite it. Mrs. Scarlett established her own luxury cosmetics company. Now she is an influencer in the cosmetics industry. Mrs. Scarlett asked a plan for her next media campaign. I got it. Hopefully, this meeting will go well. Olivia, I'm delighted with your plan. Nevertheless, it needs some editing. I aim for everything to be flawless. I understand, Mrs. Scarlet. You can call me Scarlet. I'll revise the plan as you suggest. You are professional. I feel very satisfied. It is still early. I want to invite you to lunch. Thank you, Scarlet. What do you think of the food at this restaurant? The food is excellent. If so, eat more. Olivia, I don't expect you to be there. Jessica? If you are here, so I will ask you something. What did you say to Brian? What led him to be against me when he got home? Please answer me. I only informed him about what was necessary for his life. He is nearly 30 years old. He needs to grow up. You want to destroy my family, don't you? The one who is destroying is you. You control Brian, letting him be a mama boy. Do you think Brian will be happy? He will never mature if you try to control him like that. Shut up, 
You don't have to teach me what to do. I warn you, if you want peace, don't interfere between me and Brian. If you don't, your life won't be peaceful. I'm sorry, but I think you need to shut up. I don't expect you to be here. Over the years, I can remember your face. You are. Why did you slap me? This slap is for my aunt's revenge. You ruined the family of my aunt. Your aunt? Who is she? Scarlet. You are responsible for dividing us. You are just a mama boy. My advice to you is to be mature. Mom, how long do you want to control my life? You are professional. I feel very satisfied. You want to destroy my family, don't you? He will never mature if you try to control him like that. Over the years, I can remember your face. You ruined the family of my aunt. Your aunt? Who is she? Episode Final, The True Happiness Are you Scarlet Brown? I have seen you in the media. But I don't know you at all. I don't know your aunt either. My aunt is Mandy, who committed suicide 25 years ago. At that time, you were the wife of Mr. Mandever, and your son was five years old. My aunt was unable to find any hope of reuniting with Mr. Mandever. For five years, she endured depression. She decided to end her life. Your face is something I always remember. You seduced Mr. Mandever. Then he divorced my aunt. You are a third wheel person. The slap you just received was meant to remind you of your identity. You are not allowed to control others. I will sue you for hitting me. If you can, I have enough money to follow your case. Also, Olivia is my friend. I don't know why you hate her. I won't let it go if you're still messing with Olivia. This is my message to you. Scarlet, thank you. It's a piece of cake, but why does she hate you so much? It turns out that you once had a relationship with Jessica's son. However, he is uncertain about his love affairs. So are you going to date David? I want to think back. I desire to be able to love correctly without making any mistakes. You'll regret it if you don't take the chance with David. Why do you say that? You have a preference for perfection. This life is not perfect. It's important to be happy with what we feel good about. Scarlet, you have a happy family. You're lucky. It's different from what you saw. To achieve happiness, I went through many painful things. I fell in love with someone who was not worthy of it. That person hurt me. It was him who bankrupted my family. Later, I discovered that he was an imposter. My friends and I unmasked him. Are there any such things? 
I am fortunate to have someone beside me who cares right now. My husband is just a typical driver. He is the one who loves me more than anyone else. Olivia, to be happy, we must go through suffering. You will suffer even more if you don't know how to maintain happiness. I have to go. Please send me a revised plan via email. I got it. See you. See you. I feel lucky to have met strong women. Betty, then Mrs. Lily. And now it's Scarlet. Scarlet is faced with unexpected tragedies. However, she met her current partner. Scarlet founded a successful and high fashion brand. Looking at them, I see I'm just a tiny woman. Are my decisions right or wrong? Nancy, this is... This is my resignation letter. Next week, I will be moving to a different city. I know this decision is sudden. But please accept the resignation letter. Why did you quit your job? Is it because there are problems between us? I'm sorry, David. I am unable to maintain a one-sided love. I know there's no chance. Leaving is the right decision now. Is there no way we can get it back to where it was? You are a psychiatrist. You should never ask me questions like that. At first, we may feel disappointed, but eventually, we will get used to it. Nancy, I'm sorry for everything. Not your fault. It's all my fault. I should have left this place earlier. Nancy has been away from the center for two weeks. I got used to her presence. I feel sad and down without Nancy for some reason. I am aware that my feelings towards Nancy are not love. When a friend is gone, it's just a feeling. David, I have something to tell you. I have been thinking a lot. David, I want to give myself a chance. Can we go on a date? Olivia, are you telling the truth? Yes, I am. During my stay in this city, I have experienced many things and met many people. Every interaction I have with people is a source of valuable lessons. Brian has slowly escaped his mother's control. Elia will begin a new journey, the journey of becoming a single mom. Aunt Robin has made the decision that she no longer wants to divorce Paul. She mentioned that if she lost Paul, she would regret it for the rest of her life. David, maybe you're not the person I had feelings for when we first met. You gradually become the one who brings me a sense of peace. Olivia. David, why are you crying? It brings me joy that you finally gave me the opportunity to love you. David, I am the one who should state that. I was afraid I wouldn't have a chance. I am uncertain about the future of my relationship with David. I am confident that we can have a happy life together if we don't give up. Thank you Ovingchester, the city of work and love. My hope is that those who follow my love journey will always be happy or find happiness soon.